this problem is going to convert from isometric view to multiple views. If you take a look at this model, you can first determine the size of your glass box, such as this is going to be a corner of a glass box, and this is going to be that the other corner of a glass box. So this glass box, the size is one, two, three, four, five, six, six units wide, and one, two, three, four, four units high, and one, two, three, four, four units deep. We can determine the front view. I use F to represent it, and this way is the right side. I use R to represent it. And of course, right here, we have the top. I use T to represent it. In order to start to draw the front view, it's first, we better first take a look at the surfaces which are parallel to the front side of the glass box. In our case, we have surface A, B, C, and D are parallel to the front side of the glass box. We're going to start to draw the surface A first. On your multiple view paper, you can determine your start po starting point. From there, let's start to draw the surface A. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 6 blocks wide. One, two, three, four, four units tall. This is a surface A. After it, we can take a look at the surface B. B is next to A and on top of A. Two by two units. This is a B. And then we can take a look at the C. C is a surface parallel to the front side and on the other corner of glass box. So on the second horizontal line of a surface A, we can draw a square box, which is surface C. Surface D is behind surface A, and it shares the same height as surface A. And it is a square box, so we need to use hidden line to finish surface A, surface D. All right, the other surfaces are par uh, either behind these surfaces or perpendicular to the front side of the glass box. Only these surfaces, you need to show them in the front view. So far, we have finished the front view. And then we can move on to the other two, top or right side. I will start with the right side view. Right side view, it should be on the right side of the front. You can determine your front surface and the back surface, which is one, two, three, four, four units deep. And the right side view also shares the same height as the surface A, as the, the front view. Now we're going to move on to the isometric view to take a look at the surfaces which are parallel to the right side of the glass box. They are the surface E, surface F, surface G, and surface H. Because the surface E is the visible surface you will be able to see in the right side view and on the bottom. So we're going to start to draw the surface E first. Four units deep, two units high. Continue and finish. This is E. After we finish E, let's take a look at the other surfaces. I will start to draw surface G because G is on top of the E 
when you project it to the right side, and it should be on the front corner, and it is a one two three unit high, and one unit deep. This is a G. F is the surface next to G, and the surface F is a two units high. And it shares a vertical edge with the surface G. So from the vertical edge of a surface G, we'll be able to draw surface F, which is、uh, two units deep. And then continue. Because the partial of a surface F is blocked by surface E, we need to continue with a hidden line to finish F. Surface H is next to F, and it is behind the surface E, and it shares the same height as the surface G. Now we'll be able to start to draw surface H. Once again, it shares the same height as the surface G, and it is blocked by surface E. And we need to continue with the hidden line to finish surface H. This is a complete right side view. Now we can move on to the top. Top view must be on top of the front, and share the same width with the front. We're going to take a look at all the surfaces parallel to the top side of the glass box. Continue to use the letters to label each surface. We have a surface M. Surface N, surface O, surface P, and surface Q. These are the surfaces which are parallel to the top of the glass box. Because the surface O, it is a surface connected to A at the left front corner. We are going to determine the star point. To draw the surface O, M is a surface connected to O. It is two units deep. We can continue starting from the corner of surface O. Continue to go two units deep, three units wide. Continue. Come back by two units, and then connect it to O. This is M. M is connected to surface P. Surface P is one by one unit. Draw the square box. That is your surface P. And then let's continue to take a look at the surface next to M, which is the surface N. Surface N, it is kind of hard, so I'm going to move on to the surface Q because Q it is a surface connected to the back side of the model, and it's on the other side. As long as I know the width of this model and I know how deep it goes, I can start from the back corner and to draw surface Q, which is one unit wide, two units deep. I will be able to finish a surface Q, and N it is a surface. This is a surface connecting to M and Q, so I will connect the surfaces by the horizontal line, and then continue my vertical line. And as you can see, surface N it is a surface next to M, next to Q. And continue connected to O and P in the top view. So here we have a finished top view. If we use the letter to label them, we're going to have F to represent the front. We use a T to represent the top. We use R to represent the right side. Front top must be lined up vertically. 
share the same width. Front and right side, they must be lined up horizontally. They share the same height. Top and right side, they share the same depth. This concludes this exercise.